Here we go. Move, cricket. She's not real sure about that. I could try getting another one out and dropping it in there. And then take the one out that she doesn't catch. I don't want her overeating. This one's really active. Maybe I'll just try to catch it by hand and toss it in there. If one got away. There we go. Just had to tease her. Hope that other one doesn't distract her. get it out somehow when she's done. I don't know how that's a hyperactive cricket on the bottom. See look they wrap it up before going in for the bite. She may go after that second cricket, too. I did, yep, there she goes. Oh, oh, wow, wasn't that cool? Yep, there she goes. Oh, oh wow, wasn't that cool? She's quick. They can shoot webbing like Spider-Man out of their out of their spinnerets. I was gonna say butt. I should have just said butt because I just said butt. Anyway, and uh, that lassos their uh, prey. And then they can just go down there and haul it on up. They can carry uh, items that are that weigh much more than them. And what they do. Is that, look at her, she's going to haul it up. She'll like get rid of any uh, webbing that's interfering with hauling it up and then she'll pull it up to the top. I wanted to avoid overfeeding her because my last black widow died after she got too fat and fell off of her, fell out of her web and busted herself open. At least I think that's probably what happened. Um, overfeeding spiders can be a concern because uh, they don't need to eat too much. And if you overfeed them, you'll make them too fat and that can lead to problems like what I had with my other Black Widow. Um, actually, I feel really guilty about that. I'd heard some people say feed once a week and others once a month. And uh, so I decided to just split the difference, do it every two weeks, and it was just too much. This, this Black Widow came from the same patio that the other Black Widow did. So that the first Black Widow was Pla Patty Black the first, and this is Patty Black the second. I don't know if she's envenomating there. Probably. They completely immobilize their prey before envenomating and killing it. The sand, I'm also hoping, will soften a bl uh, the blow sh should she fall. 
after a, after a meal plus she's not as high off the ground as the other widow was. Now look at her, she's going to get both of those. She's like, I should probably put them both in the same place. Wish I could have only just given her one, but... I don't know how to get one of them away from her without screwing things up. So I'm just, or getting bitten. Because <laughs> I'd have to put my finger right next to her and I could accidentally squish her and then she'd bite. They will protect their eggs. I'm not sure about protecting their prey. They may not do that. I've studied these guys in the field and they, um, and also this way. My other Patty Black laid an egg sack. There's probably a rhyme there that would be funny. Um, and I kind of agonized for days over what to do about it. And I finally decided to put the egg sack in the freezer. But when I removed the egg sack with the entomology forceps, uh, Patty Black put up quite the fight. Patty Black the first. And uh, she wasn't going to let me have it. She wasn't going to let me have that egg sack. And uh, she was like squirting that really strong silk at me, at me and, and going after the forceps. Once I removed uh, the egg sack, though, she she was no longer, you know, defensive. So, oh look, that other one's still wiggling down there. She likes to hide under the apex of those two little ladders in the middle. As you could see, she's still immature, she's still brown, but she's uh, got darker with each recent molt. This should give her the energy to do yet another molt. I think in one or two more molts, she should be completely black. I had somebody on uh, an arachnid forum suggest she is a brown widow, but as far as I know, there are no brown widows in this area. Um, plus, I looked up the differences between juvenile black widows and uh, brown widows, and she looks like a, an immature black widow as opposed to an, uh, a brown widow. There are some brown widow-like traits with her, uh, but I mean, there's a wide variety of colorations among both species, uh, but I think she most, uh, she blinds up better with Black Widow, immature Black Widow, than she does with a Brown Widow. Plus, uh, she came from the same patio as the other Patty Black, who was definitely a Black Widow, and I have never seen a spiky egg sack like Brown Widow's lay, so she's, um, she's a Black Widow, she's just immature and small. I'm wondering what she's going to do about having two of those. I'm wondering what I'm going to do about her having two of those because I just I don't want her getting too fat. But I think I think it's going to happen because I'm not taking one of those away from her. <laughs> not anytime soon. I kind of like I'm waiting to see if she's going to haul them both up to the um, to her apex place up there. That's usually what happens, is they'll haul them up to some place they feel safe and feed on them there. She's not done subduing this one. I'm going to put this lid. There's one more cricket that's in here. I don't want the cricket getting loose. So there she goes, wrapping it up with silk again. Wrap, wrap, wrap. Looks like she has tried to envenomate it, or has envenomated it. Uh, I'm not sure how fast the venom goes to work on arthropods. Uh, she go to work very fast, though. But that one down there was still wiggling when she went down there to retrieve it, so... Now what's she going to do with it? She has two. She's like, I don't know which one to work with. Which one should I work on? I'll work on both of them. She's better at multitasking than I am. 
I do both jobs horribly when I try to do two at the same time. So what are you doing, Patty? What's the deal? She says, well, maybe she's thinking about where she wants to put them so she can snack. So she's going back up there. She's thinking, hmm, I need to get these up where I can actually feed on them. That's usually what happens. I've watched uh, black widows in the field and that's what they do. She's gonna, tr she should like cut all the way around that insect and then you, and then like spin some webs around it and then haul it up to where she can feed. There she goes, see? That's what I was talking about. I don't know if she'll just feed on this one and leave that one down. My best guess is she'll do both of them. Um, she's going to secure that one where it belongs and then she'll probably go get the other one and haul it up too. I don't want her to forget about this one down here. Just gonna jiggle it a little bit. And she's like, I'm hungry, I don't care what you're gonna do there. <laughs> Made you pay attention. Okay, there she goes. Okay. Now she's going to secure it back up under there. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have fed her two crickets. We'll s I hope I don't end up regretting this. Um, I did reg I felt really bad when Patty Black the first died. I think the show's pretty much over at this point because she's got them where she wants them. So I'm going to end this video and hope it turned out okay.